Hey guys, Brittany and Parker here from Ride or Die. Hello, and today we are in Las Vegas. Yes, fabulous Las Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> We're at Circus Circus today to uh, hit up the Adventure Dome, which is yeah. their indoor theme park. Yeah, there's there's a few things to do in Las Vegas, but this seems to be one of the bigger things, of course. And uh, we've never been we're theme park people, so we were like, let's do it. Right. <laughs> Check it out. Right. And I've been here actually a long time ago when I was a kid, so I'm really curious to see what it looks like now. Yeah. Let's go see. Let's go. Ooh, this is cool. All of a sudden, we're like in a mountain in Vegas. This is pretty neat. So right behind me here is ticket sales. That's where you get wristbands for unlimited rides. It's free to come in here. You just pay if you want a wristband to do everything. And you can't pay per ride. It's just wristband or nothing. All right, here's the pass prices. Parker in line to buy passes. So I actually decided not to get a wristband because we did a lap first. And a lot of the rides are um, spinning things. Yeah. <laughs> that I'm like, no. Right. Um, there's probably like two things I would even do, so I'm not paying sixty dollars, I don't think, <laughs> to do two things. And it's a small park, so I feel like I can so burn through it pretty quick. I'll just walk around with him and film and uh, get a soda. There you go. <laughs> um, this thing is insane. What? No, no. <laughs> oh gosh. No, 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 no. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> He's gonna do the inverter, and I'm scared for him. So this place is actually pretty cool. The fact that it's like indoors, but it's got these windows so you can see outside. Um, it's hot in here because of that. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's air conditioned, but it's still a little hot. But it just looks, it all looks really cool. I like it. Here it goes. Oh, there he is from the front facing the other way. Ah, there he is. He's shaking his head up there. Oh, gosh. How is he, like, not getting sick on this? I mean, he might be. I don't know. Oh, gosh. There he is. Hello, Parker. <laughs> Boy. You were shaking your head while you were up there. I saw you. Are you sure you want to buy a wristband? No, I'm good. I'm good. How was it? I, I can feel the pressure. Oh yeah, from being held up there. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, it holds it, it probably like two or three times at the top. I know, I know. And uh, I can see why they're not as popular because it almost felt like torture in a, in a weird way. <laughs> Uh, it for me, it definitely would have been yeah, torture, yes. It wasn't fun. Oh, it was God. like, I'm going to hold you in here. Oh, Lord. You know what I mean? All right. Let's... But I'm glad I did it because they're so rare. I no, mean, no, I, I, I can't even think of one that's around anymore. Yeah. I remember this. there used to be one at um, maybe like fairs and stuff like that. Yeah. But that's, that's pretty much it. I can't really think of a park that yeah. had one. But it's cool. It's cool. So I'm watching oh, this person. It's not having a good time. But if you look really closely at the arm, it's spinning on the side. And I think that's how they flip the actual car. So it's pretty cool to see the mechanics behind how the ride works. So right next to the inverter, they have a disco ride, flat ride, of course. We've seen this before a few different times. Um, pretty basic premise, just goes back and forth. We're gonna skip this one for now since Again, they're pretty popular. And I'm really curious to see how the rest of the park uh, actually looks like because there's this giant mountain in the middle, of course, with that one roller coaster on top. But then there's also these little caverns that you can cut through. So we'll definitely be exploring here. All right, well, Brittany just disappeared into one of these caverns. So we're gonna explore now. What is in here? Oh, we got some arcade games. And there's a 40 movie in here too? Yeah. Oh, cool. Let's keep looking. Okay, it looks like there's just more arcade games that are inside of the mountain, which is cool. I like the lights that they added too. But that way is the other side of the park. So we're yeah, gonna the continue. Right. But we're gonna continue around our loop. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we exited the mountain. 
And this is El Loco. This is their big ride here. It goes up fast. Oh, here it comes. Sweet. Okay, I need to get in line for this. Here goes Parker to ride El Loco. This really is a Loco coaster. We'll see when it starts going. It's fast. Okay, here we go. Looks like this is the entrance. This is kind of bizarre. A lot of different path everywhere going different directions. There it goes. It says all new, but that is uh, relative because it is not new. <laughs> well, this is a neat entrance. Oh, look in each. There's little signs that say 90 degree drop. Vertical G, barrel roll, donut roll. Neat. Let's get in line. There he is. <laughs> oh gosh. So fast up that lift hill. Similar to Steel Hog at Indiana Beach. Yeah. There are some differences though. I, I, I'm going to look it up to see what they are. But I mean, <laughs> it's all over the place. Yeah. So that's that's the key the key trick for this ride is uh, how it just flips you sideways and holds you at one point. Yeah. Honestly, it has a lot of elements that are similar to what RMC coasters have now, like the long stall where it holds you for a little bit. So there's, there's really cool things about the ride. I'm surprised more were built, because yeah. they also fit anywhere. Yeah. This is inside on a very small plot of land. Very compact. And uh, yeah, and I mean, beyond vertical drop or vertical drop, one or the other, it's good. Cool. Good. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> so we've got not really bumper cars here so much. So I don't really think that you're supposed to bump. You just go one way around this. <laughs> This little track thing here. It's pretty funny. It seems like this whole area has a lot of games. Yeah, there's a lot of games around park. here. And there's even more going this way. That we'll but see. I'm not seeing a lot of game attendance. Like, there's no one in here, and I would play this game. It looks kind of fun. <laughs> I wonder if they bounce between games. Maybe. Okay, we're heading down this way now to the other side of the park. El Loco is just in the middle here, and Canyon Luster. The pathways are so weird. I know. Where are we going? I don't know. They have an unlimited classic arcade here, but it's closed, unfortunately. I know. This looks really cool. We've got the Jurassic Park ride, like the old school one, like Ocean Hunter. I remember that. I would have loved to do this. But look what's next. Chaos. <laughs> Man. That looks terrible. I do remember this ride, though, from back in the day at Fiesta, Texas. No, thank you. Are you gonna do the chaos? Oh, absolutely. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think the last time I rode one of these was at Hershey Park like 15 years ago. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, you see that little booth there? I'm gonna wait for you right there. <laughs> I do appreciate how unbusy it is here. <laughs> Parker's the only person in line for this. And he's pretty much been the only person on every ride he's done. intense oh it was great though was it yeah yeah so I mean, the whole time I'm riding I'm thinking to myself you know they've modernized like the Enterprise yeah but I don't think they've modernized this kind of ride yet no and we really should because this one was way more enjoyable than an Enterprise and it was not torture like the first <laughs> ride that was really old so I the one thing I will say was really funny while I was riding you could hear it creaking 
Oh gosh. A little bit. I mean, it's an older ride. They're, they're yeah. not around anymore, but it was very cool. It was yeah, good. Flashback, basically, to the past. <laughs> so right next to the chaos is, of course, the glass here. But I wonder, because there's this singular door. I really haven't seen any other way in or out. Uh, and you can see there's some different construction equipment to move stuff around. So I wonder if this is how they get all the rides in and out if needed, when they're building them or taking them out. And of course, to, to work on them too. So they probably drive around in here to maintain the rides. Let's head actually up this way to see what we can see. So up here, you can actually see Canyon Blaster a little bit better. You can see the corkscrews here. And of course it goes around. And then over there are two double loops but all the way up there, you can actually see what looks to be maybe a water ride at some point. It looks very closed. So I don't know when that closed, but if anyone knows, drop it in the comments. I feel like they should bring that back though, because people love water rides. Also up here is a mini golf course, which honestly seems like a terrible idea. Uh, so I can see why that is closed. We're actually gonna head around that way next. Oh, there's a lot going on over here. <laughs> a lot of movement, a lot of spinning. Yeah, this is, uh, what is it, Nebulous, right? Is that what it's called? It's that's the Zamperla ride, right? right? Yeah. Right. And every time we've seen it, it's, it's been not closed. been working. Right. So today's the day. You're gonna do it. Yeah. It looks nice. Yes. I mean, it doesn't look enjoyable for me, but I mean, you know what I mean. It's cool, it's like the block, you know what I mean? Yeah. Precise, well, the precision of it. Yeah. To make everything perfect. You can even see it in the actual wheels, how they're just like a clock. Yeah. That's cool. I yeah. like it. All right, have fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This one actually has a decent amount of people on it. None of the upper ones are filled, but all of the bottom ones are. Oh no, they're going backwards. Oh no. Oh no, no. This feels so disorienting from down here. Like I can't even imagine. Oh, there's Parker. <laughs> I can't even imagine being on it. Ooh. Did you see the phone? The phone? Yeah, a phone dropped. Everyone was going. Oh, about it. no. I mean, maybe I caught it on film. I don't even I think know. You just stopped filming when it happened. Oh, no. Yeah, but someone dropped it from the, up there and oh, it's busted. It's, it's done. gone. <laughs> but anyway, the ride, it's it's a cute little ride. It's was not, it as disorienting as it looks? No, it wasn't. Yeah. No, it was it was, it was was a cool motion that you would go through and then it went backwards again, too. Right. Uh, but yeah, I, I think that it's going to be interesting to see how Hershey Park does with this ride because the capacity doesn't seem low. ideal <laughs> because you think about it you can only load half of it at a time i know so the other half is are they just gonna be chilling up there i guess so i don't know <laughs> i don't know that's funny but it's very pretty to look at it is yeah. it's really cool yeah neat it's cool that you can see the stratosphere outside and the circus circus well i mean we're in circus circus but that's one of the hotel wings. Just a really neat building. It actually looks like you can go outside. Is there an outdoor portion here? It looks like it's go-karts. Oh, they're little tiny kitty go-karts. That's hilarious. It looks like they've got mini golf over here too. I don't know if it's open though. Well, it's funny because there's another mini golf course up higher. Oh, really? Yeah, but there's already like four courses right here. So I wonder if this is a second. Well, it says upstairs. Like you're supposed to go. So there's a sign. So it's probably all the same one. Wow. But it looks close. Yeah. <laughs> they have this extreme ride theater as well for Angry Birds. And then they also have a 4D movie. So two different things. The 4D movie, I think there's two different ones I show, Scooby-Doo and Ice Age. And then the, the ride is Angry Birds. It looks like there's also laser tag. And laser tag. Wow, there's a ton of stuff. Got it all here. <laughs> so walking around the corner here, where the 4D theater is, 
but you can really see how Canyon Blaster, it's kind of a shame that it's closed. And then yeah, right above us here too is that water log flume. Uh, yeah, I feel like they gotta do something with this because this is kind of the highlight of the park in terms of the rock work and the rides going through it. So hopefully, maybe one day they'll either do something else with it or maybe they'll, I don't know. We can only hope. I would have done those hot air balloons too <laughs> if I had a wristband. But Parker's gonna do the slingshot now. Another one I probably would have done. I guess there were a handful, but still just, I think only three. So not worth it for me. But he's gonna end the day on the drop tower. Whoa! Wasn't expecting that. Someone is having a hard time on the disco ride over there. They're screaming really loud. Whoa! And then click up to the very top. Whoa! <laughs> How was that? It was good. I mean, it, it looks scary a little bit. It was. It was definitely a little scary because it's like it's shaking a little bit too. It reminded yeah. me of the Costa Rica drop tower. It was shaking when it was coming down. I was like, right. oh no. Right, but it's interesting. It's like the speed had going up yeah. versus yeah. going down. On the way down, it was slower. It was slower, yeah. I was like, why? Why does that happen? I don't know. But uh, Interesting. it's cool that it does both because most yeah. don't do that. Yeah, one or the other. Yeah. And I would imagine if you were on the other side of where I, because I was facing this way so I could see the hotel, if you were on that side, then you could see the park a little bit. Yeah. Cool. All right, heading out then. There you have it. There you have it. Another <laughs> successful day. Another successful two hours. <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah, just didn't yeah, take very just a long. Couple hours. Um, the, the park was pretty empty, so it was. everything you know, Parker just walked on, which yeah. is good for me since I wasn't riding and I was waiting. This is very true. So yeah. we get through real quick. I think that's the big thing with Vegas is that you want to be able to stop in here, not spend the whole day here. So true. Yeah. yeah. No, so it was great. I'm glad we did it. Even though I didn't ride anything, I still thought the park was cool. Yeah. And I'm glad I saw it and walked around and, you know, I had fun. Well, and hopefully next time that we're here, there's maybe a log flume, which she would do. Uh, if they replace that roller coaster with maybe a, a not inverting coaster, she would do that too. So there's, yeah. you get another 60 bucks from us just by doing those two things, yeah. for sure. <laughs> but the hotel's pretty neat. It has, you know, of course, a lot of, of uh, different slot machines and gambling stuff, but there's also uh, the uh, the show. The little... Yeah, so there's circus acts that you can see yeah. for free. There's a whole like midway area, like with tons of arcade games, not slots for kids. I think the hotel's definitely geared toward family friendly. Yeah. Um, in the midst yeah. of crazy Vegas. <laughs> Um, Which but works for them. Of course, yeah. it's also all the way down at the very end of the strip, so yes, also um, true. you know, not super ideal if you're trying to go yeah. all all over the place <laughs> on the strip. But we had fun. Yeah, we came over, we Ubered over here just to do this basically, and I'm glad we did. We did. Yeah, it was fun. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. see you guys, guys next time. time.